what's going on you guys thank you for coming back to the channel today i wanted to talk a little bit about insurgency and why this game has not been able to find quite the success that i think many people thought it might considering how good of a game it really is it's one of the more satisfying fps games out there and you could probably make an argument that it is the best pure fps available right now its counterpart hell let loose uh as far as a console uh, game goes is a completely different style of fps and this game insurgency uh really has the ability to go toe to toe with something like a call of duty or battlefield especially right now considering how unpopular those two games have become as you might know if you've played this game insurgency is still a more fast-paced style uh fps title compared to a hell let loose and while it certainly does reward a slower style of gameplay and more team oriented gameplay um, to say this game does not get hectic frequently would be a complete understatement as you can see here on the some Steam player accounts, um, this game rarely ever breaks into the 4,000 average daily peak, and that's a pretty low amount of players. And I, I do understand that this game is not Call of Duty. This game is not Battlefield, and nobody wants it to be that. Um, but having more people play this game would be very good for it, obviously, for a lot of reasons, not the least of which is diversity in play style and, and meet, you know, meeting new people. Um, but I think one of the reasons this is happening is partly because this game is under-advertised, uh, I think for sure. And then another reason is there's a lack of, of new real content. They've come out with some uh, with one new map and some new guns and a bunch of new skins that nobody really cared about, to be honest with you. Um, but what there has not been is much in the way of game modes. Only one ambush. Um, no more PvP game modes i think there needs to be more of those i mean I, people enjoy pve but pvp game modes is what's going to end up selling this game down the road and more options in that a little more diversity and i think go a long long way and i would love to see this game just absolutely kick ass but if we can't get it above four thousand players and this is on pc too mind you we don't have numbers for console but i know that they're lower um it's going to be hard. It's going to be a difficult uh, thing to do. And like I said, I don't know. This is one of the best games I've ever played as an FPS. And I think a lot of you guys would agree with that, um, especially when you're going from just a pure shooter standpoint. So, um, you know, it, it, it's, a, it's a tough road, I suppose, to, to go down. What do they need to do? I think, like I said, more advertising needs to be done for sure. There's no doubt about that. Um, but also just some more consistent updating with this game and some a little more uh, communication with from from devs or from community lead to the player base and asking what kind of game modes they want to see because I, I know from talking to people that uh, one of the things that players especially on PC would love to see more of is just new game modes to play on P in PvP particularly um, just a little more diversity in that aspect so you know let's see where we go I, I do appreciate you guys stopping by watching this video I hope you enjoyed it if you have any suggestions any feedback uh, let me know because uh, one of the things I like to do with this game is I try to contact um, their community uh, manager um, from time to time and share feedback and she's been very cool with uh, communicating back with me uh, um, pretty regularly when I've made uh, made attempts to contact her and ask her questions. So um, let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you stopping by. We will see you later.